What's up guys? Today I got a little bit different video than what I normally do for you guys. Today is, um, I guess some of the snap-on tools that I believe is overrated or just plain crappy. Now remember everything is subjective so it's just my personal opinion. You guys might actually like some of these tools. I don't know, but for me, they all get two thumbs down. Like I say, there's no secret that I am a fan of snap-on tools, so this is no way saying that snap-on sucks. These are just some tools that they have that I think actually suck. So let's get in the list and see what you guys think. Come on. All right, guys, the first thing I want to talk about, which is number five, is the 29-piece Jobber Link Thunderbit High-Speed 135-degree Split-Point Drill Bit Set. The set runs from 1 16th up to 1 half inch. The part number is a DBTB129, and it retails for $303. So here's the issue that I'm having is the points or the kind of the shoulders on the outside of the bits are breaking off. And when they break off, the bits don't cut anymore. They're pretty much trash. Um, we found this out by using them when we was trying to dip, drill through some pretty mild steel to hang a hose reel rack. And we went through several of these bits and they just didn't hold up. So that was number five. All right, the next item on the list, number four, is the 18 volt half inch drive monster lithium cordless impact wrench. The part number is CT8850 and it retails for $825.95. Now this is the kit, granted, so you do get two batteries, a charger, and a bag. But here is the issue. Now I don't own this tool personally. I have used this tool before and I was not impressed with it, that's why I did not buy one. But it's supposed to have 600 foot-pounds of torque. Supposed to have. Granted, supposed to have is the key word. I was not impressed with the torque of this at all. Like it was pitiful, in my opinion. The, um, the weight of it was ridiculous too. I think uh, on their page where it shows all of their details or whatever the tools it shows 7.3 pounds with the charger that's a lot of weight for no stronger than this tool is it does have a two-year warranty or 1,000 cycles so apparently it's got a cycle counter in it so after you hammer it I guess maybe a thousand times it's no warranty I don't know anyway to me for the money it's ridiculously overpriced underpowered that's number four I think it sucks All right, number three on the list is the remote starter switch by Snap-on. That part number is MT302BR. It retails for $82.50, and I burnt one up. Bill bought one. He bought a green one, of course, and it didn't last no time. It burned up, I think, the second time he used it. We was running the overhead on a pack car, so... It don't take anything and the, the buttons burn out in them. I know Jay Young had one and his burned out. He used a forward starter button switch to repair his or whatever. But anyway, I threw mine in the trash. Bill warranty to his out. And I went and bought one at Napa. That's an Accutron brand. It was like 50 bucks. And I haven't had any trouble out of it yet. But that's number three, the remote starter switch. I think it sucks. All right, guys, we made it to number two, and number two is the 14.4 volt micro lithium cordless prep slash polish tool. This is the tool only that I'm showing because the batteries and chargers are good in my opinion, so I'm just going to include the tool in this one. But the part number is a CTPP761AODB. I think this is actually the orange ones that's shown. Anyway, I have had my fair share of trouble out of this. The tool only retails for $219.95. I actually burned up three of these. I got one. It didn't last but like two minutes. Uh, Hamilton swapped it out for a brand new one. It didn't last but like two or three minutes. 
And the final one I got didn't last but two or three minutes either. So I just gave it back to him and he gave me back full truck credit on that. But in my opinion, they're garbage, 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 garbage. Jay Young actually had one. He burned his up. He did a video on it and found out the actual problem in the tool was a plastic fan that they use. Come on, Snap-on. If you're going to charge this kind of money, you can put an aluminum fan in there. It's not going to break the bank. Quit being cheapo and selling crappy-ass tools at overinflated prices. But this is my number two. It's a turd. Don't buy it. The prep polished tool sucks. All right, guys. We made it. We're at number one. And that comes in at a big crappy piece of junk that you do not need to buy. It's the Snap-on Locking Pliers. The part number is a LP7SLIM. They are horrible. These pliers suck. Stick with the original. Buy the Irwin. Save the money because these things retail for $48. These are the biggest turd. If you're going to buy one... Make sure to keep a quarter handy, and that way when they suck and they piss you off, you can take a, tape the quarter to them, throw them out the window, and that way when the next guy finds them, they'll be worth something, because these things suck. The worst thing Snap-on's ever had, and that's my number one pick of the crappy tools Snap-on has. All right, guys, that's a list that I kind of put together of some tools that I believe that Snap-on um, pretty much sucks in. Like I say, it is all subjective, so it is my personal opinion, and you guys might like it. Who knows? That's why they make different brands of tools for different people or whatever. Anyway, I believe these are some tools that you guys should stay away from if you don't have them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button because it's totally free. It doesn't cost you guys a dime. You guys have a great one. Let me know in the comments what you think. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.